Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today we're going to take another look at the Professions rework. And today the focus will be mostly on tools. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see more information of videos about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So, um, I had to take some drastic measures to get through the intro quests. Um, as you can see, I am on uh, Bagtoon here. Um, the intro quests are still bugged after the big patch that uh, Cryptic released. What I actually did was buy a uh, Knights of the Feywild pack, I think it was, uh, worth 4.8k Zen, which gave me an additional character slot. So I made this character uh, and got it up to level 20, did the quests, and as you can see, it's already level 70. Um, Apparently, if you want to start, uh, if you want to do the intro quests right now, you have to have all professions at zero to get through these quests. And all my old bags have leadership level 25. Huh. Anyway, uh, I finally got through, so I can now take a closer look at the masterwork stuff. First, as I said, we will be taking a look at all of the tools. Um, adamantine tools. So that's the ones that you can buy uh, with all the credits that you get from your old tools. These tools have a proficiency and focus of 360. You can also create via blacksmithing, uh, if you get a high quality reward, a plus one version. And this one gives you 375 375 so a little bit better the delta to masterwork tools isn't too big but now there is a difference between the tools you earn at masterwork level 3 and the tools from chult um, as you can imagine this tool uh, this uh, tune does not have masterwork so let me swap for a second So um, the tools from Masterwork, so that's this Artificer's Picatrix, uh, has a proficiency of 400 and focus of 375. Uh, so focus is the same as the plus one that you can create, that anyone can create and also sell in the auction house, just proficiency is a little bit higher. If you can get the Chilton tools, which used to be the same, Actually, both of the values go up to 430. Uh, so 430 proficiency and 430 focus. So a little bit better again. Um, so children tools are better. Uh, not that it matters. Uh, if you have come this far through master crafting, you most likely have a four, four chamber, which you can also put in this um, slot. But let me swap back. So next up um, is the legendary tools. Uh, the patch notes said that we now can trade these legendary tools. I have a couple of them, um, as you've seen in my uh, profession pack opening videos. Uh, the patch notes said that we can trade them now, but I actually could not find a place where we can trade them. If you go here to exchange all assets, it doesn't give an option to trade the legendary tools i cannot put them in here or something like that i also checked all the other places in here i checked the workspace i checked upstairs but there's no place where i can swap these tools i also checked at the vendor for the master for, for the crafting stuff but no idea 
So I ask a question, but uh, yeah. I, I don't really know if it really matters because um, as I already said, uh, the Forge Hammer also goes in this tool slot. And why would you put a legendary tool in here if you can also have a mythic Forge Hammer? Unless they make legendary better than mythic, which I highly doubt and the devs actually already said that mythic will be better. Um, so the, the Forge Hammer actually is really really crazy in stats. It's 600 proficiency and 600 focus and it can be used for all professions except gathering of course. Um, so this is a really really big step up from uh, the Chilton tools which are 430 each. It's 170 each higher. Um, I can imagine that legendary is somewhere around 500 or 550 somewhere there but once again it does not matter master crafters will always rush everything uh, so we only use one tool and that will be the forge hammer with all these changes in mind getting into masterwork will become quite a bit easier um, so now if you use these tools you're very very close to the master crafting um, stats so crafting all your first items, your first legendary in Masterwork 3 will become a lot easier. Um, also, if you have this Forge Hammer, of course, it's even easier than that because, um, yeah, of the ridiculous stats and you don't need all the tools. And uh, once again, if you are a serious crafter, you will have a Forge Hammer. Uh, using all the values that I have um, from the tools and from the new oh well I don't have the recipes here but also from the masterwork recipes that I have on my life uh, on my other characters I've been trying to calculate some of the percentages so how is this proficiency determined you see here if I have 600 out of 730 I have 82 percent but 600 out of 8 38 focus is zero percent so using the values that I have I've been trying to calculate these uh, formulas uh, they are not the same as you can already see here um, I figured that already out but uh, I did manage to get a um, I think perfect um, determination of how this proficiency is calculated focus is a little bit more complicated somehow I don't know how this is calculated but I'm trying to figure it out so um, some other data that I've been gathering is how much the artisans have at level 70 I've been leveling up a lot of my artisans it's a lot of work and as you can see they go up to 400 but they never have 400 in each stat combined with the forge hammer they will have either 1000 focus or 1000 proficiency max um, so with 1000 proficiency uh, and this is here for show I have calculated that the chance for masterwork 1 and 2 uh, which has a proficiency of 1300 you have a chance of about 77 percent of succeeding in a recipe with masterwork 3 the proficiency rating is 1400 it's 71 percent and with masterwork 4 and 5 which is 1500 proficiency you have a two-thirds of a chance of uh, succeeding on your recipe as you can see if you have not the perfect artisan you go low lower and lower if you have a super bad artisan for um, proficiency stat so one with uh, 300 and no 400 335 do you have one or three 335 see 345 anyway if if it's a bit lower you can see that your chances also drop quite significantly um, you are able to increase proficiency and focus using so-called supplements uh, I have 
some of them in here. And I think this is the best one for proficiency uh, that I have seen. It gives 28 proficiency. And if we go back to the sheet, let's say we have the best artisan and we add 28% of 28 proficiency, you can see that you gain about 2% of chance of succeeding. Um, I still need to figure out how to obtain these supplements uh, because they will probably play a key role on master crafting in the future and maybe we will even get better supplements as the ones that I got for free. Um, seeing that master crafting can definitely fail now, uh, as you can see in the percentages and before it wasn't like that. And proficiency and focus are more important than ever. Uh, probably the dab hand skill isn't that important anymore. Uh, I wasn't able to see whether the dab hand skill also doubles your uh, master crafting results. But um, we will figure that out once they fix this stupid bug. Um, so with this uh, matter that recipes can actually fail, Recycle might actually become a pretty good pick. Recycle where you can get your uh, resources that you used for your task back if you fail. You have a percentage. So if you have a epic Recycle guy here with 400 proficiency, this one, this jeweler, might actually become a very good guy to get if you want to succeed. If you're focusing on high quality, um, you will need to get one of these two. And this is of course not recycled, but uh, they have other skills. But I, I think this skill will become less important. Uh, proficiency and focus will become the main focus, no pun intended. So, uh, some other things. Um, it seems that leveling up your professions has become very important. I think I spent about 2000 gold leveling up. Well, I also leveled up some artisans, but I, I spent quite a lot of gold spent leveling up my artisans and professions. Um, so passion project, uh, let me see, do I have one here? Which negates the commission cost at the start of a recipe might actually be a nice thing to have when you are leveling up your um, profession so if you're still low level get one of these passion project guys and just level up that getting your artisans up to 70 is pretty easy if you already have uh, level 70 of the profession itself and you have a forge hammer it's pretty quick um, what i also noticed is that dab hands gives double xp to your uh, artisan at least if you get the dab hand proc just so you know um, also the um, delivery box has become a little bit bigger so before it was 5 by 4 5 by 5 and now it's 6 by 5 so they added a little bit of space in here um, it might help a little bit but uh, it's better than nothing I guess um, one last thing, um, back to the sheet, I am already working on m fixing the recipes, so uh, the recipes have changed a bit, actually there are some new recipes, you can make charcoal now, okay, uh, this used to be very cheap, if I remember correctly, but now you can make blue version of charcoal, okay. Uh, and I'm adding all the proficiency and focus in here and also the ch success chances. As I said, high quality is something I still need to figure out. Um, but yeah. Uh, I am not adding morale and commission in here because morale is always 40 for, for master crafting professions um, or master crafting recipes. And commissions are also, uh, well, they're, they're pretty high. It's one and a half for master crafting uh, recipes one and two. Uh, three gold for master crafting three. And five for, yeah, I don't have it on this character, but five for master crafting five. Uh, it's 
quite a lot, but um, if you're active in master crafting, there are some tricks to get uh, a lot of gold easily. Uh, and maybe I will also show that in the future. So I am working on this, I'm processing the changes. There are some changes like here, the potions need aberrant blood and rhubarb and aberrant bone, beast horn, sugar beet. Um, these potions have been changed quite a bit. We all need some new stuff. I'm not sure where to get it yet. Maybe I'll figure that out at one point. Uh, right now I'm just getting it from the workshop itself. Anyway, um, do realize that all the values can still change in the future. I have to tell that to myself as well before I put too much time in this. Um, and talking about change, uh, the overflow rough ad rewards um, the video that i made recently has already been made obsolete uh, cryptic has nerfed the rough ad rewards quite a bit uh, so if you happen to get a double of finding stones event before mod 15 use all your overflow rewards i will definitely be doing that i will make do a remake of that uh, overflow reward video uh, soon uh, so you can see what the impact of that change is, but uh, it's less than half that you get now. It's it's kind of in line with what, what we got before, I think, uh, like divided by two, divided by three, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, that's it for the video of today. Uh, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.